Yo guys, it's Solid007 here, and here's Metal Gear Online PC tutorial video made by SafeMGO staff Dormant Hero. One thing before we start, you register a new account over here, mgo2pc.com site, and notice that your old Konami ID won't be useful anymore. So yeah, register on this site, a new account and login with that account information in game and voila, you're done. Okay, let's go. Hello and welcome to this MGO2 tutorial. If you played a previous emulator for this game and you didn't get quite, you know, perfect playability, I highly recommend coming back because this MU has blown performance stability out of the park. It's great. Without further ado, let's just get into how to play the game on PC. First things first, we're going to need to download the files of course. Now in the description of the video, you're going to find these files named rpcs3.zip in the description. And I'm just going to click download anywhere. Now I've already downloaded this, so if I just go to my uh, downloads folder, so I'm just going to do that now. Do, 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 do. So here we are, downloads folder. Now what you want to do is just um, drag this to your desktop, I mean, or wherever you want and just open it and then drag the file within and just take that to your desktop as well. I'll come back once this is uh, completed the extraction process. Okay guys, I have now extracted the, um, the file or the folder out of the here. And um, you can keep this if you want it as backup in case something gets corrupted. In my case, I've already got tons of these files lying around, so I'm just gonna delete it. And I'm gonna open the RPCS3 folder. And within the RPCS3 folder, you'll find the application for RPCS3 of course, you'll see application here most likely, but you should recognize it from this logo. So I'm just going to double click it now. You may get an, um, an error or some message, sorry, from your firewall. Just uh, run it anyway, the program is not dangerous. Now the first thing we're going to start in this tutorial is the pad settings. Now I'd ignore the keyboard and mouse um, handler, it doesn't work very well. Um, I don't think it will ever get supported to that level, so I wouldn't keep your hopes up and I would use a controller. Um, anywho, you've got the options of DualShock 3, DualShock 4, DualSense or X Input. Now X Input is um, for Xbox. Um, if you use DS4 Windows for something like a Nintendo Switch Pro controller, which I think you can use, then you can use X Input as well, I believe, or you can use DualShock 4 maybe with that as well. But anyway, um, DualShock 3 will also be linked in the description of the videos. That one's not also plug and play. But DualShock 4 and DualSense and Xbox controllers are plug, in, pl plug and play. I'm using a DualSense, so I'm going to click DualSense. Right away, you c if your controller is plugged in, you should be able to test if it's working. So you can see my left stick and right stick are moving them at the bottom right here, and they move with it. I can also test my L2 and my R2 straight away. Um, one thing I suggest doing is pressing this and then pressing R2 and then changing this to 25%. Um, the reason why I will link in the description of the video for underhand grenade throws and you'll be able to click that and see why I've set that to that. It's kind of um, something that only the DualShock 3 controller could do but a way of getting around that for more modern controllers. If you don't see your analogs moving and stuff like that click refresh. If you still don't see stuff, oh that's for change, change of settings but it doesn't matter. If you still don't see um, your controller, it could be that it's registering as pad 2, 3, 4 and so on. Um, that can sometimes happen. Once you're happy with your settings, just press save. Now we're going to look at the graphical settings for the game. So if you right click the game, change custom configuration, go to the GPU tab. Here you'll see I've set it to my monitor resolution, which is 1440p as you call it. Um, now. For some reason right now it's not working at 1080p, um, this upscaled resolution, you can set it to 175% or you can use your um, left and right arrow key, set it to 151, whatever you prefer. Um, this game mainly uses um, CPU anyway, it's mainly CPU intensive unlike your native PC games. So actually a lot of people actually play at 4K or like to their monitor resolution without a problem, sometimes they go beyond that just because they can. Don't change the default resolution, it breaks things is what I'd say. Only this one that upscales things and it's a really good upscale in my case. 
the other tab you're concerned with should be Metal Gear Online tab. Everything else in this emulator has been set up except for GPU Metal Gear Online. These are the ones you'll probably want to change. Here, you can disable HUD if you're making a video. I don't suggest doing it in game because um, it's a bit like uh, it's as if you're looking at a debug screen. Some things don't load as they should or whatever until you get into a game. You'll understand it when you use it. I don't recommend it unless if you're making a video. Disable motion blur. It's in the name. Reduce stage quality. This, um, well, it, it, it's kind of in the name as well. But what it does, it increases your FPS as well and the performance by reducing things such as the posters on MM. Some things are more noticeable than others. Try it. You may need it. Apply and save. Another thing I'll say is, in the description of the video, I'll have on how to disable shadows made by reverse that video, or reverse, I think it is. Regardless, that can give you five to 10 extra FPS if you follow that video as well, if you still need it. Okay, at this point, you're all set up and you can now play MJO2 on PC. So without further ado, just right click the game and boot with custom configuration and every time you boot the game do the same thing to make sure you're using the custom configuration. Bear in mind the first time you load this game the compiling takes a very long time but after the first time it should be much quicker. I'm now going to skip ahead to um, other important steps in the video. Okay, so I've skipped things that I thought were fairly straightforward, like press X, press the start button, agree to terms. And I'm going to enter game ID and log in here. Now, one thing I suggest you do is at the save point, you're going to put save your ID and password. I highly recommend you do that because it just saves so much time every time you log in. The first time you log in will be potentially the last time you log in as long as you never experience issues ever again. Okay, when you log in, you'll see this error. Now, in later versions of the emulator, that will automatically update. You may not see this error. You can either press escape or click the X button. I'm gonna click escape just to show you that it works. Okay, another thing. When you first see all your characters, you'll see register new character three times. Now, I'm gonna click one of the register new characters and I'm, call, I'm gonna call it this is for a vid. Oh, okay. We'll just call it this for this is for a V. Um, now, obviously, you can select your sex. Um, you can select your face. You can select your voice. That's fine. Once you're done with that, you can then select some gear. Now, what I highly suggest you do to save your time and everyone's time probably involved is if you just keep tapping X rapidly. Reason being is that you unlock more clothes the instant you get past this screen. This is because this screen was for when the game was first made and um, a lot of the gear was locked away. In our game, all the base gear is unlocked, but we have extra gear in the reward shop that is not unlocked. <sighs> so, um, what I'm going to do in this screen, I'm going to set the uh, most commonly used skills just so that you people are aware of what are probably the most commonly used skills in the game, which is AR2 Runner 2. I'm not saying you have to play that way, I'm just letting you know that is the case. Now, if you go down to personal data here and go to appearance settings, you will now find a whole array of um, clothing available to you like this. And please don't dress like this, or well, I guess you can, but ugh, ugh, don't dress like this. Anyway, um, press OK. OK, guys, that concludes this tutorial and pretty much everything you need to know. The rest of it should be in the description. See you guys next time.